All right, so today is the 18th of February, 2023, and just a little quick update on a few of the things I've been doing. Um, one of which I got this uh, this box mounted, and uh, I mounted it uh, in the engine room, so you can pull a panel off in the engine room floor here to get at this uh, this pump. That's the going to be the the sump pump box for the shower and the in the sink over there you know something i've been not really working on right now but been thinking about is is getting ballast in here and george bueller suggested waiting until you put the boat in the water to, to put any ballast in uh, inside ballast internal ballast but uh yeah and i will be able to get some ballast of course down here in the engine room i got a couple of bays here i can get some some ballast in but uh yeah beyond that i mean that's the mount for the aqua drive and then you got the the shaft going in there so you're not going to be able to put any ballast back there and uh, here we've got uh, battery box and water here so you're not going to be able to get much ballast in that bay and then we got the house batteries going here the lithium-ion batteries going in there so there isn't just a whole lot of room there there is some we can get some ballast in there and the same thing with under these tanks and this is the ideal place for ballast you know here in the middle of the boat but uh that's going to have to really be ballast is going to have to be for the most part put in now otherwise it's going to be very nearly impossible to get anything down in there maybe i could sneak a little i don't know but anyway so i've been trying to locate lead um and of course none of the scrap yards have much for lead anymore so um we get up here and we could certainly put some ballast in here this this bay here is going to be um storage so yeah we could definitely put some you know even some concrete and iron and stuff in here for ballast but you start getting up any farther here <clears throat> and you really don't want to be ballasting up here in the bow so i don't know um i'd like to get uh, some lead ballast in here in these bays like under the under the batteries and under the the, the, the water and, and gray water tanks so, because uh, I'm sure I'm going to need some ballast, you know. Geez, it would be nice to get 1,500 pounds or something like that in here before I, I put the boat in the water. And then the rest can be, you know, loose. And you can move it around and, and put it wherever. But anyway, um, <clears throat> in here I've been working on uh, painting these, these uh, floor hatches. Um, here's the one that goes painting the inside surface. Why? I don't know. But I am. Um, so that one goes here. Like this one's going to be storage. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of storage down there and the next one too. But anyway, this is the last one I've got to paint, I guess. I guess I got all the rest of these painted on the inside. But I'll show you in here in the engine room. I don't know how well you can see this, but here's that, uh, that shower sump box. And it hooks up to it. <clears throat> I got some some of that uh, reinforced hose there going to some pecs and then the lines coming in will come in you know to whichever size fittings you need them to here and while I was doing this I decided to go ahead and and finish out the floor here or the sole um, this is a little bit of a tight fit under here that that goes you can see that enough that goes back quite a ways so um this one you know is going to have to slide in as opposed to picking up and hitting it without having to cut a bunch out here which i suppose i could do that too but um and then these pieces here drop in there so we've got uh we'll do that real quick and I'll put a screw or something in in these boards to kind of hold them in place 
but I had to leave a little bit of room here because um, my shifter cable hooks up here so I'm gonna have to do a little little bit of a cutout here to to allow that, that shift cable to go in without altering that there's really no sense in bending that uh, so I'll just cut out a little bit there so that cable can can drop in there one other thing I wanted to show you back here um, is this here I don't know how well you can see this not much light back here but uh, you see that paint bubbling up there that's just a tiny little leak at this fitting here or is there something up there too maybe yeah, I don't know I don't think so I think it's just this one but that's again this this pipe dope that I've been using and I'm not just real real thrilled with it I told you I've been been switching to the tape um, that heavy duty uh, tape that's designed for gas purposes but uh, yeah, and it's lifting my paint here. So I'm gonna have to take this apart and, and redo that. I wonder how many of these, once I get operating down the road, I'm gonna have to redo. Yeah, I mean, it's not a lot of leakage, but it's enough that it's causing problems and we're gonna need to redo it, so <clears throat> yeah. But anyway, yeah, so I got the floor in back here while I was at it. So you can walk around there now without falling through and yeah, a little bit of a safety deal too there so you're not don't have an exposed shaft that's turning i'm not sure what i'll do in here yet if i just uh if i paint this this wood this is douglas fir two by material i'm sure if i'll paint it and put maybe a little bit of an anti-slip on it or non-skid on it or, or whatever but we shall see but yeah that'll work and I got that box hooked up and I got another leak um, in my PEX tubing and fittings down here I'm starting to not like this PEX A as much as I thought maybe I would it's definitely easier to work with but uh, where's my leak here it is I was tying the in fact you even just saw a drop there maybe and I got the pressure turned off now but it's leaking right here at this fitting um, I was starting to tie these up a little more put a few more clips and whatnot in here hangers in here to, to hold these pipes to keep them from bouncing around and uh, <laughs> when I went to put that one in over there it, it twisted this a little bit it, and just enough that uh, then it started leaking which is not good so I don't know what the problem here is I mean I'm doing everything properly I think I mean I'm you know I'm cut make sure the tubes cut nice and square I'm making sure the fittings are clean and the pipe is clean and um, I'm given the proper you know three or four expansions on on the pipe and the in the expansion collar here um, and I'm rotating the tools I do it um, so yeah i don't know i don't know what the deal is here but bending these these pipes near a fitting eh, doesn't seem to be working so in here up here you can see i got a, i got a compression ring on this one because this this on off valve here was supposed to be pex a but it appears that it wasn't it appears it was pex b but this is working to get a pex a pipe on a PEX B fitting if you use the the copper compression fitting compression ring um but yeah so I don't know I'm wondering now how many problems I'm going to have once I get the boat in the water and it starts bouncing around a little bit how many of these pipes are going to start giving me problems here's the three quarter inch PEX that's coming up here to the wastewater tank and I think what I'm going to do is tie it into this half inch port here I'll get a fitting for this an adapter fitting for this and then get that tied in with a piece of flexible hose again um, into there i could tie it into well anywhere here really um, the other drains that come into the into the gray water tank i could tie it into there but i'm a little worried that when that pump runs it might 
shoot water up the up the up into the sink or something you know or, or at a minimum you'd hear, hear it loud which wouldn't be that big a deal you can hear this pump running anyway but um but anyway so i i'm thinking maybe what i'll do is 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 run it in down here um and it's yes it's only a half inch opening but um that's just the one little spot there to and i think i better go ahead and uh, cut an access hatch in here too even though i don't need necessarily need it for that tank um but i think i better do that because i may need to get at these fittings down here i like i said i'm not sure how well all this stuff's can hold up when you get, get in a seaway um maybe it'll be fine I, I have no idea i have nothing to go by on that so yeah we'll find out i guess anyway that's just a quick little update for today